So good morning, Irvine. So here we are. Um, when I woke up this morning, I was parked. Okay, so my car has been towed to Garden Grove, which is about 14 miles away from my home. So needless to say, all that's being captured and it will be expensed towards my filing. Now, I, I'm gonna talk to, I talked to my lawyer friends already um, and they are bored. Um, the thing is, I can respect the HOA if, you, if we shouldn't be parked there overnight, no doubt. I'm good with that because you know what? I wanna be neighborly. And it's not from an optic perspective. Yeah, 2, 3 a.m., you just don't want a car parked there, back there. I get it. I can appreciate that. So, you know, you put put up a rule saying, hey, you can't have your car behind at your own mini private uh, driveway past 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Cool. I'll unplug it. I'll put it back in the front. Everything hunky-dory. But to make my car disappear in the middle of the night and no warning, nothing, um, that's interesting. Now, here's the other funny part. Um, as we were looking through the rules, and her friends were looking through the rules, if we truly classify according to the current rules, that is my own private property because I have to pay property tax on that thing, on that part. And so that's my private property. If they took a possession off my, out of my property, off my property, without any acknowledgement from me or anyone or a note knocked on the door or any type of, of awareness made to you, it counts as theft. And here's the beauty of the whole thing. When that material good excess a certain value, guess what? It's Grand Theft Auto. Wow. It's going to be good fun. Let's see what my car looks like. If there's any damages too. Oh man, if there's damages, it's going to get a lot more fun. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, you know what? 13700. Towing company. Let's see. Let's find Jose. Are you 13700? Yeah. Oh, to the right, right there. All right, so we're gonna go hopefully get my car. I gotta get in line. This pop monitor by surveillance. Hey, are you Jose? Larry, what's up, man? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, you guys stay off the camera because I ain't trying to do that too. No. All right. Uh, my white Tesla. I need to pay for it and pick it up. Yep, you sure can. So, um, may I ask what time was my vehicle picked up? You know? I have no clue. Uh, 4:30 in. So my car was picked up 4:30 a.m., dude. Um, hey, traditionally. Do you leave notices? Uh, aren't they supposed to let me know that something? Uh, basically, a notice is like kind of courtesy. Right. It's not required by law. Okay. So if they did, they, it would be on your windshield. Right. But it, it's, it's probably the same night that we got. It. That's cool. Do you have so, an insurance registration or is it on the car? It's on the car, dude. And I, back at me to get the insurance? Yeah, so let's, uh, all right, we're going to go back there. I'm going to respect the gentleman because he's, he's only doing his job, man. All right. I'm gonna tell my wife to go bye bye. Give me one second, I'm gonna take this call. Alright, cool. Jen, you can go. So, I need to look at my car to make sure that thing is not jacked up. Yeah, I'll get it. Bye. So, the car is picked up around 4 30 in the morning, and there she is. They jacked it up in the front, so I need to check my wheels. Dude, it's like, let's see here. Everything seems to be okay. Up. Oh. That's okay. My front lip is okay. My wheel seems okay. So, so far, so good. That's not a bad deal. 
He's gonna need my car registration, he says. Let me uh, open up the glove box. All right, my registration. You guys stay off the camera, dude. I can't do that to you. Oh, there you go. My car registration. Uh, over here. What's up? Uh, let me pull my adapter too. At least my adapter's here. That would have been two bills. But it won't, now, now it's saying that it won't release. Come on, baby. How am I gonna go home? Let's pull this shit off. I can't get it off. This is good. This is good stuff. Uh oh. Hey, are you Jose? Larry. What's up, man? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, you guys stay off the camera because I ain't trying to do that too. No. All right. Uh, my white Tesla. I need to pay for it and pick it up. Yep, I sh you sure can. So, um, may I ask what time was my vehicle picked up? You know? I have no clue. Uh, 4:30 in. So my car was picked up 4:30 a.m., dude. Um, hey, traditionally, do you leave notices? Aren't they supposed to let me know that? Something? Uh, basically, a notice is like kind of courtesy. Right. It's not required by law. Okay. So if they did, they, it would be on your windshield. Right. But it, it's, it's probably the same night that we got it. That's cool. Do you have so, insurance registration or is it on the car? It's on the car, dude. Well, and I'm back at me to get the insurance? Yeah, so let's, uh, all right, we're going to go back there. I'm going to respect the gentleman because he's, he's only doing his job, man. All right, I'm going to tell my wife to go bye-bye. All right, cool. So I just got my, my, I guess you want to call it my notice of what was my violation. Um, the gentleman was nice enough to, to describe to me that I was blocking garage, blocking garages. Um, yeah, my own garage. That's a violation. Um, and then they said fire lane, but I was not on the street where I was on the black part. So again, this is really gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, the look. Okay, I got my car back. Everything should be good, as you saw earlier in the video. I put it back to the exact same spot. Okay, check this out. Look, I'm over here. The car is here. Focus right here. Look at this. The black is here. The the neutral zone is here, and this is where I start to pay my taxes. So this is private property at this point okay and if you look here you can see my garage is right here and if you look around look down the street there if you see any cars that blocking any lanes at all now turn around I'm gonna show you a violator turn around I'll show you a violator my car here if my car was sitting right here that will be a violation in the black area, you know, the neutral zone, the whole nine yards, and you're blocking it. And if you look down the street here, if a fire truck or something trying to get through, yeah, that's gonna block it. But if you look at my car right here, it's my own zone business. Hey, it gets even better. You know what? On the notice, on this yellow violation notice, it says I'm blocking garages. I am blocking a garage. I'm blocking my own garage. Look this way. My neighbor's right here. He, I'm not blocking this garage. I'm not blocking 33s. I'm not blocking 22s. I'm not blocking anybody's garages. But right here, it says that I'm blocking garages. So uh, yeah, I got an issue. I got, I had to pay 375 plus a plate. I had to go two hours and approximately 28 miles round trip. Someone's gonna pay for all that. 